Hello, good evening, and welcome back. Sheffield Hallam MP Jared O'Mara, arrested for fraud from the Metro Friday, 23rd of August today, 4 or 3 pm, so just a few hours ago. Sheffield Hallam MP Jared O'Mara is believed to have been arrested on suspicion of fraud, Siri reports. It is all the MP was arrested on Friday after officers raided his constituency office. Now, this, this report comes after a talk I had with someone I met to try and identify what is far left and far right. Far left, we seem to agree, was communism. Huge government, so far right, the logical conclusion was therefore anarchy. The problem that we agreed on is that people tend to become corrupted, and therefore a bigger government tends to be more corrupted, power hungry. People are only in it for their own self interest, and as there's no competition because the government is the law, that they're not above the law because they are the law, there is then nobody to hold them accountable, and then they try to get away with all sorts of things and will silence and kill and destroy any dissenters. So, with that in mind, let's read on. Office manager Gareth Arnolds was also arrested on Friday on suspicion of conspiracy to commit fraud. They were released on Saturday pending further inquiries. And this is over his expense claims. So the South Yorkshire Police decided, declined to comment and Omar is set to resign from his position when Parliament returns in September. A spokesperson for the House of Commons said it was a police matter but the clerk of the House would be alerted if a sitting MP is arrested. And here is the, the gentleman in question. Um, I, I can't help but think he just screams massive lefty to me um <laughs> if if somebody's like that uh bit rotund ginger neck beard hmm hmm but maybe that's just disparaging based on somebody's appearance so the alleged arrest comes after a staff member in omara's office appeared to publicly resign on twitter calling the boss the most disgustingly morally bankrupt person i've ever had the displeasure of working with and this is where it gets very interesting Former comms team member Arnold claimed to be behind the tweets. He wrote, I cannot and will not offend you and your vile, inexcusable contempt for the people who voted you in. You selfish, degenerate... You decide. P and four asterisks. Sheffield Hallam deserves so much better than you. You have wasted opportunities which people dare not to even dream of. Consider this my resignation. Um, and yes, this is the point here, that, that this is the idea of racism from the left when they say, ah oh, yes, that... We've got to give ethnic minorities more opportunities. And I'm thinking, well, no, everybody is equal. If they can do it, then they can do it. Let's not give quotas. Let's not try to manipulate people based on some unalienable characteristics. I don't think black people are inferior. I think, or anyways, I don't think they're inferior. I think everybody can do it if they have an opportunity. So let's go with that instead. Whereas, as we can see here, they have white guilt. They, they have the, the white savior syndrome, whereby they, they think that they can... Well, they think they have to help out these these brown people because they think they're stupid and also then they, they try to manipulate them in order to use them to get votes. And here's an example of it. Omar was elected as a Labour MP in 2017, called it, when he unseated former Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg. Um, he was stripped of the party whip after all tweets came to light where he joked about musician Jamie Cullen being sodomised to death and inviting girls allowed to an orgy. Yeah, he apologised saying I was in a bad place back then and after being bullied and called many of those abusive slurs myself, I repeated them as a way of deflecting from my own low self-esteem and depression. But this is not an excuse to take full responsibility for the unacceptable language I used. Good man, good man, extreme ownership. And he said, um, spokesman for Sheffield Hallam Liberal Democrat said, we've been calling for the resignation of Jared Omar for a long time. I would like to point out he was stripped of uh, the party whip from the Labour Party the Labour Party said they reinstated him back in 2018. He denied that, and he was then voted in as an independent. So he has a history, and you can decide for yourself whether or not he's a big Labour guy or not. Uh, with crucial votes coming from Westminster, the people of Sheffield Hallam needed MP they can count on to fight Boris Johnson's Brexit plans and to stand up for local communities. Yes, but as you can see, hopefully this is where the mask is starting to slip, where you see that they don't care about the, the ethnic minorities they're supposed to help, they're just picking on them to try and get an easy voting block. Whereas any right-wingers don't care about race because, hey, why would I care? You're just, uh, you're just an individual, go do whatever. Which brings up another fun thought, that left-leaning seems to care for really strong borders because they don't want anybody in or anybody out, <laughs> particularly don't want anybody out, because um, the government's that totalitarian, where surely far right would then be open borders because they really don't care, because the government isn't doing anything, because there is none, because it's anarchy. But anyway, let me know what you think below. I'm intrigued, and uh, let me know if you think this is yet another example, and we will see many, many more of left-leaning people who 
don't actually care about their constituents, but they just think they can play them because they are the racists. And then they're just projecting it on everybody else, like this chap here. Let me know, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.